Hello, my friends. I hope you all are doing well. I wanted to come in and um, do a quick reading. I don't know. I just woke up with so much excitement, peace. Um, I don't know, like this restlessness. It's almost like we're just kind of gearing up for something huge. And so I thought, you know what? I don't want to do a like a regular check-in, although I will do that for Instagram here in a moment. Um, so if you're not following me on Instagram, you want to follow me on Instagram because I do daily readings there. Um, so I thought, you know what, let me just see what's like the most significant theme or message that divine masculine wants to communicate to divine feminine today. Like what is the most important thing that he wants to say or convey, or that he is going through at this time specifically related to feminine, okay? Oh my God, is all I have to say. <laughs> I was just like, oh my. So I can now see why I am feeling this way about this collective. It's just like there's this excitement, there is this peak, there is this climax, perhaps maybe even literally for some, that is happening here in this reading. So, if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, healing session with me, then um, you may do so at queenoflight1111.com. Okay, I have never used these combinations of cards before. So, I have an Oracle, my tarot deck, and the Oracle of Mermaids card. So, I said, so bottom of the deck is he's he is admiring his feminine in secret. So he is either looking at your pictures, reminiscing about the past, um, you know, thinking of what it would be, be like to be with you, admiring you. I mean, there's just so much love energy that is hidden. Moon card, hidden. He's secretly admiring. He's hiding this feel, these feelings because he does feel like he's in a little bit of a cage and he's feeling restricted. He may be feeling held captive. This is also, you know, the energy of the world, right? There's all these restrictions and these lockdowns. So he may feel like, I just want to get to her, move towards her, see her, you know, be with her, fly off somewhere with her, but we are in restriction right now. And so he, it's like bubbling up this desire, this need, this want, this love is just like, I can feel it. It's just like, ugh! and it's like the floodgates, right? It's like the water is at the dam, right? And it's like building, building, building until it's just going to topple over and it's just going to break the dam open. All right. So that's what's happening with masculine. He is just hitting his limit. Like he is at this point and right underneath this card was song of the siren. He is just wanting to come forward and communicate. And under that, it's the high priestess, which is this energy of just that is the alluring divine feminine. And guess what? This is like maybe all met in plenty of fish, but this is an energy of he is admiring you. He has seen all the other fish in the ocean. You are his fish. You are his mermaid. You are his priestess. And he is wanting to come forward and communicate and just like spill the beans. So his first energy towards you. And remember, I only take flyouts. These cards flew out today. You're not going to believe it. Hitched. Hitched. This is, this, he's like, this is the person that I want to marry, but I can't say anything right now. I am in observation of her. I am looking at her. I am watching her. I am reminiscing. And this is the person that I want to marry. This is the person that I have my target on. This is the person that I am watching and observing very closely. And this is the person that I've never felt that I wanted to marry more than my divine feminine. And look at this. Look at this. Falling in love. Kissing the divine in another, in yourself. Look at this. It's like I propose and then we embrace. Right? So this is this huge energy. The This was the first message. He's saying, you're the only person that has come close to anyone that I would want to commit my life to. And I can't say anything right now. Can't do anything right now. Because I'm in this energy of confinement, but I am so in love with you. I have fallen in love with you all over again. 
his next message to divine feminine transformative love this love has changed him this transformed how he believes in love how he sees love how he experiences love this love between the two of you has changed him as a person it has gotten him out of this victim i am in conflict i am defeat woe is me everyone is bad energy everyone is just out to get me it has transformed him through your divination remember high you're the high priestess your love your divination your belief and your wisdom has changed him next message farewell he's saying goodbye goodbye to the lack of reciprocity i also feel that this is also a farewell to imbalance this is a farewell to any imbalance in the connection and how both of you gave and received love and i also feel like this is him saying you said goodbye or i said goodbye because i couldn't give in the way that i wanted to and i wasn't able to receive from you in the way that i wanted to but guess what atlanta's rapid development he has excelled through this separation he has succeeded through this separation and he's ready to burst through the waters and fly out of that soul cage and guess what you can't make this up caged heart he's telling you my heart was caged my heart was caged i didn't know how to give and receive love i didn't know how to receive love that was so pure but the divine stepped in and broke this cage and now i am feeling delicate and fragile and i have the wisdom now of how to treat this type of love it's because the divine came through buddy right to help everybody so now you can't make this up now he wants to propose now there's this energy proposition. I mean, it doesn't have to be marriage. It could be, I want to propose to rebuild the connection. I want to propose to start over again. I want to propose an apology. This will bring this conclusion and success and integration of this journey and will lead to some, you know, bow chicka wow wow, right? <laughs> Divine sensuality making love erotica if you're not feeling this sacral energy already i mean i don't know what to tell you because i have been getting sacral energy like in my readings for the last i don't know week week and a half so this is like i want to propose i want to give you my heart i want to complete this energy i want to complete this cycle and i want to kiss and make up because guess what you're not gonna believe it because he's the divine masculine now and he's ready for this union but the sucker is keeping it a secret <laughs> because he feels gay that's why it's like it's so funny as spirit work it's not funny actually it gives me great great comfort and confidence in my readings because of the way spirit comes in and says oh we started with the secret and we're ending with the secret but what's in between the secret and between the secret is i am in love with you i want to hitch myself to you you have transformed me i understand why you said goodbye my heart is now open and i am ready to propose and make this a thing because i am divine masculine i am ready for union but i am keeping it a secret at this time but i'm telling you leo moon these secrets are all going to be revealed all going to be revealed so i hope that this was helpful validating exciting um and if you want to book your own personal reading coaching session or healing session go to queen of light 1111.com love you guys so much sending you so much healing so much light so much of my personal love thank you for being with me on this journey for the last couple of years i am so excited to see where this collective is headed have a great day everybody bye